Steve McCann from phillygaycalendar.com. We just finished watching Eating Out Drama Camp, and we are here now with Alan Baraka. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. You've been here many, many times. I think this is my fourth, I think. You are a QFest regular. <laughs> yes, I am. Because this is also the fourth Eating Out. This is the fourth Eating Out, yeah. I haven't been here with all four of those, but um, yes, it is. And it's always been one of the most popular of the festival. What do you think has really made it as popular as it is? Um, I think people just like to laugh and see sexy boys do stupid, sexy things. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's a good way to spend the weekend. Yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect for going to a movie with a bunch of friends and um, maybe a drink afterwards. <laughs> so tell us what this movie's about. Um, drama Camp follows our heroes from Eating Out 3 as they go to Drama Camp and have their relationship tested by a hunky newcomer. <laughs> No pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> and you've had a great cast. Where did you find some of these cast members? Because some of them are new. Um, yeah, we do have some new cast members. Um, Harmony Santana, who plays Lily. Um, we f found her, we saw her in a movie called Gun Hill Road, and she was amazing in that. Um, our Aaron Milo, who is um, plays Benji. He was a, a salesman at Saks selling shoes. <laughs> so they come from all over. People, um, we had an open call that a couple of our stars came into. Um, Ronnie Kroll, I looked him up. He was on Make Me a Supermodel. Um, Joel Rush was on a show called True Beauty. So a um, bunch of them were reality people that we'd seen. <laughs> and of course you've got Rebecca, who has played Tiffany, Rebecca, back again. Yes, Rebecca's back. Rebecca was in the very first Eating Out. She's been in all of them. She's an amazing character. She's fantastic. I wish she could be in it more, but we could only have her for a scene in each film this, this time around. But the next one, I'm trying to center all around her. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a five. Tell us about five. Um, number five picks up right where four left off, so I don't want to give anything away, because then you'll know the end of four. <laughs> but it, and you film them back to back, correct? Um, yeah, we film them back to back. Um, five, number four, they go to drama camp. Everyone's competing for a free vacation um, at a place in Palm Springs. Number five takes place at this free vacation. And sex will incur. Of course it does, <laughs> yes. Five has even more sex than four. <laughs> so you're also known very well as uh, Rick and Steve from Logo, yes. which has always been one of my favorite shows. Oh, Where did you come up you. with the concept of, of Lego gay characters? Um, that started in film school. I had to make a short film about relationships. I just moved to LA. I didn't have any friends, so I made the film out of Legos. And this short ended up becoming um, a TV series. After, you know, seven years of development and pitching in between. But that's how it happened. Any more Rick and Steve? I don't. I don't Can think so. Back? I would love to, but um, Logo hasn't ordered more, and that's what I have to wait for. It's all reality all the time. <laughs> I guess Legos are tough in reality, live TV. Huh? It's a lot more expensive. They're a lot more <laughs> expensive um, to build and move those one frame at a time. So what else do you have, and what other movies are we expecting from you? Um, well, I just, Eating Out 5, <laughs> which I just shot, and I just um, finished writing a film called Lazy Jack. It's a, a children's animated film about a dancing dog. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be interviewing uh, the cast members in a few minutes. I mean, anything you we need to know about them? Any behind-the-scenes gossip we should um, ask them about? Ask them if there was any behind-the-scenes gossip. I want to hear, actually. <laughs> ask them if there was any romance. Because I, I think everyone has a different story as to what might have happened. So. You weren't a part of that? You were more like the school marm, I, taking care? I'm the one who hears the rumors after they go through telephone, so I'd like to hear, you know, I'd like it on record to hear exactly what happened. We'll see what we can do. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the festival. You too. We're now here with the stars of the show, Chris Salvatore and Harmony Santana. How, uh, how did you think the movie went? This is the first time you saw it. Yes, first time we saw it with an audience and everything, and my sister and brother in the audience. <laughs> um, was that awkward? It was a little awkward, but I just kind of tried to tune it out. Um, no, I think it, I really liked it. I think it turned out great. It's really funny, and people were laughing, so that's always good to, good to hear. What did you think of the movie for the first time? Um, I really loved it. I was a little nervous because it's my first time doing comedy. So, but it, it turned out really well, and I'm really happy. Because you're also in another, you're doing double duty this time uh, with Gun, uh, Gun Hill Road, which is quite different than this movie is. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, basically, it's like about when a father comes home from jail and finds that his wife is having another relationship, and uh, his child is going through a transition. And he tries to fix it, but everything just goes downhill. 
But um, yeah, it's totally different from this film, but I had a blast. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Um, I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> And you're also a, a local boy, aren't you? I am. I grew up in Bucks County. So welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so how did you both get involved in this movie? Um, I got involved two years ago. I did Eating Out All, All You Can Eat, which is the third one. And um, after we wrapped that movie, Alan came out to me and he's like, hey, we're thinking about doing a fourth. Would you be interested? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And for like maybe six months, I didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, I got a phone call saying, hey, we have a script ready for you. I was like, oh, wow, it's really happening. <laughs> so, but I'm happy. I'm really they, happy. They found you on the internet. Is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they found me on the internet on a dating website. Manhunt? <laughs> no. It was, just checking. It was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that site is, so I'm just I, I'm guessing. It was not Manhunt. Um, yeah, um, well, G Gun Hill Road premiered in um, Sundance, and the producer saw it there, and he had them contact me, and I auditioned through Skype, and I sent them videos through email, and then they told me I got the part. Oh, technology. Oh, technology, technology, thank God, because I'm in New York, and they were in L.A., so. So what do you have next for both of you? Um, I also do music, so I'm working on a new album. Right. And um, your songs were in the last movie, weren't they? They were, yeah. So it's kind of, the eating out kind of propelled the music a little bit more than I ever thought. So it's, it's great. And do you have a new one, It Gets Better, is that correct? Oh yeah, yeah, I wrote a song called it's Get, It Gets Better. You seem surprised, like you forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago, I feel like. <laughs> no, um, I did it for the campaign. and. Um, it turned out really well, so I'm really happy. And you? Um, well, I have another film in November. Um, it's not a big role, but it's another drama. And I play um, a cousin of the main character, uh, a cis female. So I'm excited for that role. And of course, you'll both be in uh, Eating Out 5, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, uh, Alan asked us to ask you guys, what was the behind-the-scenes gossip? Was there any behind-the-scenes romances going on, things that he didn't see that were going on? And I'm, I'm guessing the answer is yes. Yes, there was. <laughs> Um, I'll leave it at uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> he specifically asked to find out. I have to ask and find out. Um, well, I did. We did play um, uh, Truth or Dare at one time. Oh yeah, and Alan played Truth or Dare with us. Oh, thank yes, you very much. And did, did get and um, get pretty lit up. I did. I, I want to say I kissed three of the cast members. That's all I'm gonna say. Dick Dicky, Drew Drogi did a belly button shot. The wardrobe guy did a belly button shot out of his belly button. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, and your dares? <laughs> I was a spectator. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were his dares? <laughs> no, okay. if you don't want to say, you're going to get in trouble. All right. Well, are you guys going to the after party? We are. Okay, then we'll see you over at Tavern and yes. come back. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.